we be not relieved within this hour, we must return to the court of guard. The night is shiny, and they say we shall embattle by the second hour of the morn. Uh, this last day was a shrewd one to us. Mm. Well, bear me witness, knight. What man is this? Stand close and list him. Be witness to me, O thou blessed moon. When men revolted shall upon record bear hateful memory. For Inabarbus did before thy face repent. Inabarbus? Peace, hark further. O oh, sovereign mistress of true melancholy, a poisonous damp of night disponge upon me. That life, a very rebel to my will, may hang no longer on me. Throw my heart against the flint and hardness of my fault, which, being dried with grief, will break to powder and finish all foul thoughts. Oh, Antony, nobler than my revolt is infamous. Forgive me in thine own particular. Let the world rank me in register. A master lever. And a fugitive. Oh, Antony. Oh. Antony. Let's speak to him. Let's hear him. For the things he speaks may concern Caesar. Let's do so, but he sleeps. Swoons, rather. For so bad a prayer as his was never yet for sleep. Go we to him. Awake, sir, awake. Speak Here to you, us. sir. The hand of death hath wrought him. Hark. Drums demurely wake the sleepers. Let us bear him to the court of guard. He is of note. Our hour is fully out. Come on, then. He may recover yet. Their preparation is today by sea. We please them not by land. For both, my lord. I would then fight in the fire in the air. We fight there too, but this it is. Our foot upon the hills adjoining to the city shall stay with us. Order for sea is given. They have put forth the haven. Where their appointments we may best discover and look on their endeavor. But being charged, we will be still by land, which as I take it we shall. For his best force is forth to man his galleys, to the vales, and hold our best advantage. Yet they are not joined. Where yon pine stand, I'll hear the straight, and bring me word how tis like to go. Swallows have built. In Cleopatra's sails, their nest. The augurers say they cannot tell. They know not, look grimly, and dare not speak their knowledge. Antony is valiant and dejected. And by starts, his fretted fortunes give him hope and fear. Of what he has and has not. Oh, what is lost? This foul Egyptian hath betrayed me! My fleet hath yielded to the foe, and yonder they cast their caps up and carouse together like friends. Long lost, triple turned. Ha! Tis thou hast sold me to this novice, and my heart makes only wars on thee. Bid them all fly. Begone! For when I am avenged upon my charm, I have done all. Bid them all fly. O son, thy uprise shall I see no more. Fortune and Antony part here. Even here do we shake hands. Betrayed I am. Oh, this false soul of Egypt. This vile charm. Whose eye put forth my wars and called them home? Whose 
bosom was my crown at my chief end like a right gypsy. How the fast and loose beguiled me to the very heart of loss. Yes! Yes! Ah, thou spell of aunt! Why is my lord enraged against his life? Vanish! Or I will give thee thy deserving and blemish Caesar's triumph. Let him take thee and hoist thee up to the shouting plebeians. Follow his chariot like the greatest spot of all thy sex. Most monster-like be shown for poorest diminutives, for dolts, and that patient Octavia. Plow thy visage up with her prepared nails. Tis well thou art gone, if it be well to live. But better twere thou fellst into my fury. For one death might have prevented many. Hear us! Hear us! The shirt of Nessus is upon me. Teach me, Alcides, thou mine ancestor, thy rage. Let me learn to like us on the horns of the moon, and with those hands that grasp the heaviest club. Subdue my worthiest self, the witch shall die to the young Roman boy she hath sold me, and I fall under this plot. She dies for it. Eros! Help me, my women. Oh, he is more mad than Telamon for his shield. The boar of Thessaly was never so embossed. To the monument. There lock yourself in Sydney Moor that you are dead. The soul and body rive not more in parting than in greatness going off. To the monument. Martin, go tell him I have slain myself. Say that the last I spoke was Antony and word it prithee piteously. Hence, Martin, and bring me how he takes my death. To the monument. <laughs> 